Hello and welcome to another Raggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to review one of the uh, ciders I actually picked up from Tesco's earlier um, on a reduced to clear. So, made by Westerns, who make a hell of a lot of ciders. It's a rosy pig's a flat tyre, sparkling, uh, sparkling cloudy cider with rhubarb. 4%, so standard, fruit, you know, fruity... Um, Cider ABV made with. I have to get the phone on this because you just can't bloody read it. Made with fresh pressed Herefordshire apples. Uh, this sweet and well balanced cider is slowly matured and left unfiltered to create an uncompromising flavour. The fruity taste paired with a tart finish make it refreshingly Moorish. So. Uh, let's give it a whirl, see what it looks like. Don't know how long you're going to be able to get this because obviously if Tesco's have, have uh, discontinued it in some stores, don't know how long it's going to last in other stores, but I dare say you'll get it somewhere in the country. God, you can really smell apple and rhubarb from that. Apologies for the glass. I almost took it up the arse and gave it a clean, but I didn't. So, yeah, cloudy look to it, you know, lovely head on it, good carbonation from inside. Wow, lovely sweet rhubarb smell to it. Just like when you have um, rhubarb and custard, and before you put the custard on, you can stroll that, uh, stroll? Smell that strong rhubarb you know, flavour. Oh, gorgeous, right. Let's have a crack, crack this one open. Oh, mm. If you love anything rhubarb in a beer uh, or whatever, you're going to love this. It's absolutely, it's a nail on the head. Yeah, I can see it carbonated from the bottom. Never heard of this brand before. Obviously, it's one of these craft ciders. Uh, I'm not sure how they're taking off. I haven't heard anything about sales of them. I suppose it's like anything. Um, companies, well, retailers like Tesco's will um, have them on the shelves for so many months. Whether, you know, Westerns have to pay to have it on the shelf, that's another thing. But I presume, you know, there's a bit of, you know, put it on the shelves, you know, and see how it goes. And then if it's not um, selling well, they'll just get rid. And, you know, sadly, that's the case. Some good brands have lost some, you know, we've lost some decent stuff off the shelves simply because it wasn't given a long enough chance to survive. Um, this is a very, very decent um cider the rhubarb taste is amazing uh, was it Muller's who had a rhubarb um, yogurt definitely one of them who had a rhubarb yogurt some time ago and uh, it's like that the taste is just like that it's absolutely amazing Wow. Brothers also make a rhubarb cider, uh, rhubarb and custard. And uh, I would say that this and that, wow, well, as soon as I get to taste it and compare how, how, how they are, but absolute quality. Surprised that that hasn't sold more. Unless it's just the price thing, because I, I think it was retailing for 150 or slightly more, maybe. Taste-wise, spot on. Strength only four percent, so it's never gonna, you're never gonna get a drunk of it on it. But you know, it's not always about getting um, battered on on you know drinks, um, or even though that's. 
what most of us try and do, you know. It's about enjoying it, obviously. And to me, that is a very, very enjoyable drink. And uh, at the reduced price, I picked it up today. You know, I can live with that. That's nice, you know. Uh, made by Western, so I suppose if anybody lives down that part of the country, I think, is it Herefordshire? You know, you're going to see it a lot more down there than you are in the likes of Nottingham, where I am. I can't say I've seen it in other supermarkets, but to be honest, I've not really studied the um, um, the beer selection at supermarket. You know, at, at other supermarkets, I'd love to be able to go in with my camera when this when the when the shops closed. And obviously, you know, there's workers there, but not on the same aisle. And just to a, a walk up and down and chat about the uh, real ales and wines and that. Maybe, maybe if I get a bit of a name for myself on this and get a good few followers, and then I might be able to do that, and uh, that'd be something, you know. So I'm, I'm sure they'd let you, you know, when you when you when you're big enough, you know, they won't let me now. They'd probably say, yeah, get lost. So, I can't believe they're getting rid of that off the shelves. Um, still carbonating even at that. Still the slightest tinge of a head on it. The colour, uh, sorry, the flavour, the smell of it, beautiful. Uh, the taste, spot on. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It is. And I'm not the biggest cider fan in the world, but I do like a good fruit cider. Uh, I don't mind some of the original ciders, but uh, some of them, you know, I've been ill in the past because I've mixed mixed ciders and beers, and obviously that's the recipe for disaster. Uh, but yeah, fantastic! What a what a classic! So, out of five, gonna give it a very respectable four point seven out of five. It's that good, you know. If you see it before it goes in any of these. Uh, Tesco shops and elsewhere if it's available elsewhere um, make sure you dive in and get one oh I can't wait to try the others now might have to do a few cider reviews just to uh, get them out of the way I mean I've got a lime and mint I've got what's this one? Oh, there. so yeah I've got a raspberry mint and lime, mint and lime, and I've also got a strawberry cider, uh, just pure strawberries, well apple, and wild strawberries, sorry, yeah, so, ooh. hey, this could do reviews, isn't it, especially drinking decent stuff like this, thanks for watching, see you soon.